Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials here on YouTube, but I also do a lot of just beauty related videos in general. Like this one today, I am sharing with you how I got this full face of drugstore makeup. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I am a drugstore girl. I love to get a good deal on makeup. You can really stack coupons at CVS and Walgreens. I highly recommend downloading their apps because you can send coupons like manufacturer coupons to your phone through those apps not sponsored wish it was definitely isn't I just want to share with you how I get the best deals nothing feels better than getting a drugstore product that's like $15 for like $6 I get so excited about it so definitely check those out and then if you're shopping online you can usually find an additional coupon like 25% off or something like that especially at CVS and then you've got to use Ebates as well again not sponsored, but that is how I try to get the best deal on my makeup. So anyway, I am sharing with you today this full face of makeup that is all drugstore, all affordable, all these products are tried and true, so I know they work for my skin. I wanna put that out there. I have very, very normal skin. I do have sensitive skin, but I'm not prone to breaking out, so take that with a grain of salt when I talk about all these products and when you're looking at any videos on YouTube at all, keep in mind your skin type as opposed to what the person on YouTube skin type is. So anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this full face of drugstore makeup, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so I've already primed my skin. I really like to let my primer sink in for about 15 minutes, so that's what I did. I used the Wet n Wild Rose Primer. I've been loving this stuff lately. And then in my visible pore area, which is just right here in this area, I went in with the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. This stuff works really well. I like it a lot better than the e.l.f. Putty Primer. A lot of people don't agree with that, but I like it better. So we're gonna go in with my current favorite drugstore foundation. Honestly, I have two. I have the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. Absolutely love that. But I also love the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. So that's what I'm going to go in with today. A lot of people ask what I choose. It just depends what I see. This does give me a little more full coverage than the Physician's Formula. So keep that in mind if you're looking for more of a full coverage drugstore. By the way, I have very normal skin. I do get a little dry in the winter time on my eyelids and under my eyes, but that's pretty much it. Other than that, I have very normal skin. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the L'Oreal foundation on, which is just absolutely stunning. So that is one pump, just one pump of the foundation all over my face. And that is such a beautiful coverage. It still looks like skin. You could see a little bit of my redness peeking through in my cheek area. So I'm gonna build up a little coverage there, but that's the only place I'm gonna build up coverage. You can see I try not to bring it under my under eyes because I have kind of finicky under eyes and I don't like to apply too much product there if I don't have to. So I'm just gonna build a tiny bit up right in this area. And that will give me the coverage I need. And this foundation is one of the very few foundations that doesn't build up on my nose area, which is why it's such a favorite of mine. It just looks beautiful everywhere and it wears so well. All right, so super up close, that is what the foundation looks like. It is so pretty. I absolutely love it. It makes my skin look so beautiful and still like skin. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer next. I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade 125. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This is in the shade Light. I'm like 99% sure, right? Man, when you turn 30, suddenly you can't see anything. Yeah, it's in the shade Light. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Now, I am not one of those people on YouTube that apply a ton of concealer all over their face. It just doesn't look good on me. So I'm going to use this sparingly and that is too dark for me right now, but that is okay. We're going to lighten it up a little bit with the Light Illusion Concealer, which is also fairly dark. So we'll see how this blends out. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks great. I find when you put a concealer on and it looks 
a little too dark sometimes when you blend it out it blends out lighter and that's been the case with a lot of concealers I've been trying lately so don't knock it until you blend it out okay so that's the concealer so I'm gonna let that sit and decide in a little bit if I want to set it I've actually been not setting my concealer some days and I've been liking that a lot especially the Milani so I'm gonna let this hang out it'll crease up a little bit you can see I have very fine lines under my eyes I am always gonna have creasing but I'm gonna see how it sits after a little while and then make the decision if I want to set it so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows offline here and then I will be right back here and I will tell you everything I used all right, you guys, brows are on, not my best job. I really have to pluck my eyebrows and I'm just not in the mood to because I have my concealer and my foundation on and it would just be a wreck if I went in and plucked them, but I did what I could. By the way, my brows are naturally not even. This brow is a lot lower than this brow, but I don't like to overfill my brows because I just think it looks really unnatural so I just kind of work with what God gave me and that's fine for me so to fill them in I went in with the Catrice eyebrow powder basically they don't sell this version anymore it's old they have a new updated version though so same thing whatever works for you I really like this stuff really really pigmented I did go in a touch with the Milani easy brow in dark brown this is so pigmented so I go in very sparingly just about right here in this area and then I brush it through and I mean very sparingly and then to set I went in with the L'Oreal brow stylist boost and set and clear this is my favorite drugstore brow set it doesn't hold as well as the benefit brow setter which is my all-time favorite but this is my favorite as far as the drugstore I really like the tiny little tip which is really nice so I didn't do these on camera because it takes forever and I wanted to spare you guys that so let's go ahead and go in with our bronzer I have so many favorite drugstore bronzers. It's hard to choose. The Milani Silky Matte in number two. I absolutely love this, but I've used this in quite a few videos recently. I basically use the Physician's Formula in every video. I mean, I've kind of flipped to this and then this other one I'm talking about, but many, many videos I've used this. So my new favorite is the Maybelline City Bronzer, and I think this is a beautiful color for spring. It really is one of those peachy tones. So let me go ahead and grab my brush. This is just a Japanese brush that I got from uh, Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of the two. And this is just such a pretty color. It's very pigmented though, so be careful. I have the shade 200, and I love this. If you like more of a ashy tone or red tone bronzer, this one won't be for you. At least the shade 200 won't. You could see it's very peachy. Like I said, I think it'll be really pretty for the summer. See how much definition a good bronzer gives you? Like, I'm not using this to contour. I'm using this on my cheek. My contour would be right here. But just with that, I look so much more defined. It's crazy. I am gonna be grabbing for this bronzer all summer long. I already know, so pretty. So let's go ahead and go in with blush. You guys already know the Milani Powder Blush is my favorite. I love all the colors, but today I'm gonna to go in with Blossom Time Rose. Very, very pretty peachy, pinky color. And these have the most pretty finish. Let me show you. See how it's like not matte? It gives you like a little sheen. It's like a satin finish. It is so pretty and they are so pigmented. I love it. And again, this is just a Japanese brush from Marshalls. See that little bit of sheen? Oh, I love it. I love it. I think I went in a little too heavy on the apples. So I'm just gonna kind of use my Real Techniques brush with nothing on it to pat it out. All right, and then highlight, we're gonna grab the Master Chrome in 100. I really like the Nikki Tutorials one as well, but I do wanna go in with this one today. So I'm just gonna grab that on this Wet n Wild highlighting brush. Oh my God. So that is the highlight. It looks so pretty. It may be a little gold for the skin tone I'm at. I have been grabbing for the Nikki Tutorials one so much. I totally forgot about the molten gold shade, so I wanted to try it. 
I think I should probably stick with the Nikki tutorials version, but it still looks really, really pretty. So I did go in and look at my face as I was doing that to make sure I didn't need to set anywhere because I do want to go in with a setting spray at this point. I always do that because I like to kind of take down the powders. So I just quickly want to tap out my under eyes just so we don't set any creases that can be kind of tapped out. I also like to look at this area and make sure I work any of those areas out before I go in and set. And then anywhere else you think is necessary, sometimes around my smile lines. And then I just do a light spray of the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I've been loving this stuff. I'm going to run out very soon. So I don't wanna go in too much just lightly and then I like to take my sponge and then just kind of help that set down a little bit. I kind of do more of like a rolling motion than a padding motion with this. And I find if you have the wrong sponge, like if I was doing this with my Real Techniques sponge, which you guys know I don't like, or um, what's the other sponge, that e.l.f. sponge I tried, it almost lifts what's under, but the Japanesque sponge never does that. It is seriously the best sponge in the world. I love it so much. All right, so this is the skin up close. I just want to do a quick turn so you guys can see what everything looks like. It looks so pretty. It's nice and fresh, glowy, healthy. So we're going to move on to the eyes at this point. You guys know my favorite drugstore quad is the Physician's Formula Classic Nudes. This is absolutely stunning if you have my skin tone. Even when I have my like deep dark tan on, this works for me as well. So I'm just going to use a mixture of these two shades right here. And I'm going to put those guys in my crease because I don't want to do anything too crazy with the eyes today. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'll probably fast forward through it as I do it because this can get really lengthy and really boring. <laughs> All right, so I've obviously only done one eye here, but you could see the definition that gives me. It just mimics the crease that I don't have because I do have hooded eyes. It gives me a little bit of definition, but it still looks really, really light and natural, and I just love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and even these guys out. I'm also gonna just take that on another Wet n Wild pencil brush and run that under my eyes as well. All right, so that is the eyes done. I did take my highlight and throw it in the inner corner as well to open that area up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Master Chrome. This is the Nikki Tutorials version. And I'm just gonna take that on my finger and apply that right here to give a little pop in the center of the eye as well. Ooh, that is very pigmented. Just kind of working that out with the oils of my finger. So we have just a, a little pop of color there, nothing too much. All right, so that is the eyeshadow. Adding that little pop of highlight in the center I think goes a really long way and it's a really good use of products for different areas of your face. I really love when I can make a product multitask. I put my blush in my crease all the time as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my mascara. This is the Milani Lash Trifecta. I'm gonna really try to bulk up my non-existent lashes. <laughs> All right, so mascara is on, and now I'm gonna go in with my tried and true lip products. I love this. This is the Revlon Balm Stain in the color Romantic 045, and I just am absolutely obsessed with these. For drugstore makeup looks and looks that you just wanna kinda throw on and get out the door, like if I wasn't doing a tutorial on this, this would take me 15 minutes, if not less. This makes a statement and it wears beautifully all day and it's hydrating so just just wait till i put it on if you guys have seen videos of mine you know how much i love this but here we go I am so obsessed with this lip balm. It feels so good. It gives you like a little bit of a minty feel. So if you don't like the minty feel, you won't like it. But it gives you that just bitten red kind of color and it's so comfortable. You could see how dry my lips are. It's like reflecting right here. So this is like the only kind of color that I would feel comfortable, like my lips 
literally feeling comfortable and not like they're gonna fall off without like just going in with a lip balm. So the next thing I have to do is set my face once again with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. If you did just apply mascara like I did, you're gonna wanna cover your eyes because it will make everything transfer, which is not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so this is the skin up close. You can see how beautiful everything looks. It's effortless, it's simple, it's easy, and it's obviously affordable because it's from the drugstore. I have been trying these products for a very long time. They are tried and true for me. I know they last all day. I know they look beautiful. Now, obviously, I don't have the same skin you have, so what works on me might not work on you, but if you do have skin like me, normal skin, I think you will love every one of these products. So I hope this video is helpful to some of you. If you guys have any questions, as always, please let me know below. I try to read and respond to every one of your comments. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, I post every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Sunday at 12 noon Central. I'll also leave my Instagram down below. Give me a follow on there if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.